Football is the most popular sport in Kenya, but unfortunately, not the pride and joy of the country. Over the years, various sports disciplines have overtaken the beautiful game in matters success. Most of the blame could be attributed to the lack of leadership and proper football structures. However, part of the blame is down to lack of proper academies and coaches to guide the young footballers to their ultimate dream, which is to play in Europe. And in light of the huge gulf in terms of quality between our local players and foreign players, two former footballers came together to bridge the gap and formed an academy Christ and League of Extraordinary Ladies and Gentlemen. The academy is based in Nairobi and seeks to hone the skills of players between the ages of 4 and 21. We started the academy because we struggle a lot as players. Me and Julie played. I'm playing, I'm still playing, so but I'm injured right now. So for us, it's just to move get better opportunities for the boys and girls that are coming behind us so, and change the face of football in Kenya or maybe across East Africa. We've organized the team in a way we have uh, our reserve team, uh, we have our main team and we have our dream team. So reserve team are boys who are young and still learning. We are actually drilling them and getting them ready. Our main team are boys who have stayed in the academy for quite some time and we feel they're ready. And uh, we're just giving them much experiences. We're trying to expose them locally and also expose them in the trip. For the coaches that we have here, we work a lot on the basics and getting them ready. So we have a pre our season starts with pre-season. Then we start with playing a lot of friendly games, which gives them game exposure. In the game exposure, we are ahead of other academies because we give them game time. So with game time, they get to play a lot of games and they get better because at the end of the day, you, get, you want a player who's ready to play games. For LXLG, it's a meticulous process getting the player ready for professional football and they seek to fully develop a player through a concerted effort with parents in order to get a player to the next level. For us, we value our boys and girls in a way that we have to get them videos for, in training get them ready for professional football, get clubs, get contacts, and we work together with their parents to get the best opportunities for them. So some of them are going to get scholarships, some are going to play pro, some maybe will venture into jobs. So for us, get them ready for the job market. The academy recently managed to take several of their players to Madrid, Spain to give them exposure and a taste of just what it takes to be a professional player, an experience that hardly comes the way of local players. Uh, in September, our boys travelled to Spain. It was uh, actually one of the first trips that we made as a, as a team and it was quite successful. We went to Alcacon uh, Football Academy um, in Madrid. Uh, they had a really good time. They had a, um, um, a good uh, experience there, training with a very good and organized team that has a very, um, very, very good uh, academy program. Um, the intention was actually to just expose them uh, to the professional uh, world of football. LXLG was also fortunate enough to get some of the players' trials with two of their players, Ryan CB and AFC Leopards maestro Saad Musa, getting trials and they took the opportunity with both hands. Uh, part of the boys who traveled, who traveled to Spain, the, we had two boys. Uh, one of them is uh, Ryan CB and the other one is uh, Asad Musa Juma. They both went to Malaga City Academy uh, in Malaga, of course. And um, Ryan right now remained there because he's going through um, a 10-month program there where he'll go through a lot of training. Uh, he'll get a lot of game uh, experience so that at least uh, he gets to learn more about uh, European football. Also get a be better exposure. If he performs well, then maybe gets a chance to sign um, a contract maybe in, uh, in Malaga City or maybe if there's any other team that likes him then maybe he can get a contract. Also, Asad Juma travelled there, he got quite a good experience considering he plays in the Premier League here. And uh, he came back, I think, uh, things to do with uh, documents and visa stuff. So he's, uh, he's meant to travel back in, uh, in January. So we're hoping that um, uh, um, he he's going to get a contract. The players of the academy have nothing but love for the academy and the coaches and like all young players, have a dreams of becoming professional. Uh, the way we come together, when uh, things are hard, like a few months ago, one of our friends, uh, parent passed away. 
and we all came together to support him. Uh, the coaches have been helping me. I've been doing extra work. Yeah, I want to get there. So it's hard work. Uh, they, um, they become, I've become close with some of them, like Coach Ray. He, I text him, he tells me on things to do. I text him after the games, I ask him how I, how I did. He tells me on the ways to improve. He sends me some drills so I can be doing on my, on my own free time. As they seek to come up with ways to get their players to football academies in Europe, LXLG formed a dream team to provide players with a platform to showcase their talent to scouts and football agents. For a dream team, it's made up of players who are ready. Some of them are in, in the Premier League, some of them are in nationwide and uh, local uh, leagues. So we pick them randomly depending on their levels and also depending on their talent. If they're really good, we incorporate them in the dream team. We work on them uh, contract or agreement and then we look for them trial opportunities uh, outside the country and both locally as well. What we do normally is get, get contacts with different agents, then we organize games so that every good player that we have from wherever, anywhere, they can come and get game time in our dream team if they're good enough. Then from there they can get agents, scouts get them out of the country, pay for them everything, and go and play professional football. Get them into academies, that's, the, that's why we are doing this business. You have to be exceptional. We do a lot of scouting, we work with the different coaches, we call different people, so that we know what player we are getting, who we are getting, and uh, who we can work with. Because a lot, we look at discipline a lot, not just football and, work, and hard work. On the 3rd to 5th of December, Talanta Bora have organized trials at Don Bosco Karen, dubbed Kikwe to Pro Soccer Tournament, and LXLG will be hoping that one of their players will get the glorious chance of being picked by scouts who will be coming from Belgium, Germany, France. Part of the reason why Dream Team came, we got uh, connections uh, with some of our friends from the UK. They have links with teams in Sweden, uh, Denmark, uh, also in UK as well. So they are going to bring scouts here in Nairobi. And we got a chance to also take our dream team to go and participate in the trials. And uh, we're hoping that a few of them are going to make it through because they have chances to take some of our young boys to the academies. And also some of our ready players are going to get opportunities to play in the, um, in the leagues outside there. And they're focusing a lot on players from 16 to 21 years old, which, is our, which has been actually our main age group that we've been working with. As LXLG continues to change the fortune of football players and football in the country, we hope that one day one of their players will play professional football in Europe's top leagues and turn the tide for the underperforming national team.